At the moment, the reputation of Kenyan athletes is no longer grounded on natural talent. Suspicion of cheating is haunting their every move, whether in training or in competition. The last three quarters of the year has given the anti-doping agency of Kenya leadership sleepless nights. The problem appears bigger than initially imagined. We have um, about 35 cases. Um, we have 24 that are active already, and that is just this year. Um, AIU, you know their numbers. And so combined, it could be a total of about 40 to 50 athletes. That's a very high number. Nearly all cases of doping have involved long distance running, particularly the marathon. Almost all sanctioned cheats are first time offenders exposing the extent of the rot in the sport. This is the worst year because uh, prior to this, we used to get um, eight cases, uh, 10 cases. Um, and we would think those are so many. <laughs> we would think those are so many. But uh, this year, this year has been bad. The National Athletics Federation admits it's overwhelmed by the crisis. Athletics Kenya says it has intensified educational programs among the young and amateur runners who are most vulnerable to doping. I would like to uh, very much uh, try to warn uh, the athletes and uh, their handlers that uh, they should be deceased uh, from getting any kind of uh, drug to enhance uh, the body to be running like they say faster or not get tired or anything like that. And as the new athletic season gets underway, Kenya will face more scrutiny for any performance registered by our athletes. Of more concern is that these runners know the root cause of the menace, but seem powerless to stop it. We athletes, we are the one which are going to look for those kind of stuff. Started to, we want to pretend, we want to do shortcuts. If you know that we have done enough workout, we should stop this kind of a mess and stop wasting uh, uh, others' name. Because if you talk about your manager, about your coach, nothing like that. There's no one who is drag your hands and take you to something that is not good in your, for your health. The high number of doping cases has ignited fears that Kenya could go the Russian way in the foreseeable future. If the trend goes the way it is, then there can be pressure for Kenya to be sanctioned as a country and not to participate in international events. And so it is a concern. We, as an agency, uh, have been sitting in the past week and this week actually, even yesterday, we had a, a sitting just to see, get to know what the issues are. With about two dozen cases and about six more under adjudication, 2022 has been said to be the deadliest year for Kenya in terms of anti-doping rule violation. Doping authorities say the high number is due to a competent testing regime and they are blaming greed for quick money as the number one driver for the high cases in the country. And as 2022 draws to a close, the country will be spending its sixth year on top of the doping list of shame. Sadiq Shaban. CGTN in Machakos County, Kenya.